News. The man killed during today's storm died as a tree fell onto a trailer in Hanover. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Hanover with more about what we're learning about what exactly happened. Christina. Yeah, David, this happened during the height of those high winds. We're in an industrial park right now, and behind that fence is a trailer where the elderly man named 89-year-old Robert Horky, he's from Hingham, he was trapped by a fallen tree and killed. Yellow tape around a trailer with a tree branch lodged in the side. According to the district attorney's office, that's what caused the head injury that claimed the life of the person inside. Tree falling on a, per on a person. He is trapped under the, under the tree, unknown if awake or breathing. The most tragic of the damage trees and branches caused across the region. In Hopedale, this family will spend Christmas in a hotel. And we heard this huge noise, obviously, and then things kept falling. A tree clear across the roof all the way to the back of the home. When you look at the oh sides of this. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was in the basement, and I heard a huge bang. And I thought maybe, like, you know, my parents fell down the stairs. Everything is soaked, the floors, my furniture. In Wellesley, similar scenes, trees piercing rooftops. It's just like a crack and like a thump. This branch landed on a garage while the homeowners were out of state. And in Ashland. There was an explosion. I mean, it sounded like a bomb. You can see the trunk through the window, the rest of the tree on top of this couple's sunroom, and the floor. We didn't know where it was coming from. It came from the wild scene outside their home. The same storm that had roads flooded, storm drains clogged, trees and wires stopping traffic. And back here in Hanover, there was a dramatic rescue scene. Firefighters had to extricate that elderly man from the trailer. He had severe head trauma and was taken to the hospital, where sadly he was pronounced dead. Live in Hanover, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.